Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now the Sideshow Collectibles 1-6 scale ghost face figure, the unboxing and the review is now up on the channel, so thank you for your support on those vids. Now it's time to figure out how to fit him in to the rest of the Slasher King collection up here on the shelf. There is no room for him. Straight up, there's just none. The Predators don't want to mess with them, so I'm going to leave them where they are. I want to keep the horror guys in the center here where the light is the best. So do I mess with the werewolf section? This is what I'm trying to figure out. I'll just film it and you guys can skip ahead and I guess you'll at the end you'll just see how it all worked out with those face fitting in here. But I'm going to just film it in stages as I'm trying to figure this out because I've, I've been standing here just looking for like 10 minutes thinking there's no way to do this because I want to keep the Terminator and alien stuff with the predators as far apart as they are. At least they're on the same shelf. So it's just, it just comes down to the werewolf section. I don't want to mess with it because you really don't see something like that very often. And they are, apart from the one in the middle, the big one, they're all from films that I absolutely love. The Howling, American Wealth in London, Dog Soldiers, and the, the kind of made up one here from Cool Models, the figure. Uh, that does very much remind me of the werewolf from Bad Moon. And also I guess you could say Van Helsing a little bit as well. I really don't want to mess with it, but I've thought about it and there's just, there's no other way to fit Ghostface in. So, I guess I'll just, oh, I don't know. Anyway, I'll come back. I need to think about it. I bet loads of you guys out there have awesome ideas that you're thinking right now. I wish I could hear them. Yeah, just a thought, but maybe move the Slasher Kings down onto this shelf because we've already got Art the Clown kind of descending here into Pennywise and Vampirella. by the door having a little break and I just looked over at Heath Ledger. How crazy does that look? It looks so real. Let's go over and take a little peek. Look at that, that's nuts. Heath Ledger Joker. He's looking at Catwoman. That is not intentional, that was because remember the setting the scene video? That was the pose when he was leaning up against the brick wall. I just put him back on the face exactly like that. It looks good. Looks pretty cool. As it does this, but we'll come back to that in a minute. It's not finished. It's not finished. So I'm just going to use the Free Zero box. I know it's for the Curse of Michael Myers, but I need a box if I'm going to display my Rob Zombie Myers, that one there. I really want to. And until I can maybe get a custom box made, or maybe a uh, 
Trick or Treat Studios will eventually release their version of the Rob Zombie Myers, which will come with a box, and then I'll just use that one. But this will do for now. This room is a mess, folks. Myers room. Stuff everywhere. Stuff. Well, just thinking, you can't not have Pumpkinhead in the lineup. And plus, you've got Art the Clown, big statue on one end. Pumpkinhead can kind of bookend the other side, although ideally it would be much better for Pumpkinhead to be facing this way. But can't do that. It's alright. That damn tail, if I could move the tail a bit more than that. Alright, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. It's alright, it's alright. Not too bad. We're getting there. We're getting there, folks. You know what I mean? Bit. It looks a bit weird. Alright, it's the next day and I'm changing it again. I want all of the horror figures on the top shelf. I just like the way it looks with the comics above. A slasher in space? You know? Sci fi horror? Sci fi slasher? <laughs> He's slashing people. He's grabbing them and slashing them up. <laughs> I'm thinking about putting them in there. I got Ripley, obviously. Where is she? It's over here. So we'll see. I hate the box for Ripley, so I won't be using that. I do have the box for the big chap, and it does look cool, but it is very long, very tall, so it will be a bit of a problem. That's the only reason he might not make it. Technically, I think he could be up there. Cause, yeah, alien. Space slasher. Okay, everyone, so that will just about do it. I've got everyone in the position I'm happy with. I've mixed things around so much and changed things and back and forth, back and forth. But we've got the um, Art the Clown book ending kind of both ends of the shelf. We've got the werewolf section is still present and correct. Just put it on the end of the shelf. Made a bit more sense to put the more kind of miscellaneous stuff on either end of the shelf and then have all the 1-6 scale Slasher Kings in a row together. Yeah, it looks absolutely awesome. Glad that Chucky has his own little spot. I'm glad that Pumpkinhead is back in the best spot in the room for him. He's been there before and he's back there again. That really is the best spot. Any angle. Looks absolutely incredible. Chucky. We've got various versions. Retro cloth trying to get out of his box. Another modified and weathered retro cloth there. Bunch of ultimates from different movies. And a big one from Mezco, which I recently reviewed. Absolutely love that piece. Glad that he's on the shelf and he looks perfect there. And you got Sam, both the retro cloth version unmasked and the ultimate version with the mask on because it's just so damn accurate and sculpted. Really, really amazing job with Sam. Moved around the frame pictures. The shelves down here, we could talk about that all day. <laughs> Took away some of the boxes and left some of the boxes. Robocop's box has always been so damn big and deep. It's uh, quite a tight squeeze fitting him in front of the box on this shelf, so I decided to take it away and just with certain figures have the Blu-rays and VHS videos with them instead. Well, I'll let you see this again later on. In natural light, it'll be better. Got both Amparellas back. Oh, plus the little one. Big, big alien. Reaching for your soul. It's amazing. Very dark here in this corner. That's why I want to film this in the daylight. So I'll come back at you. Got the uh, Metal Gear stuff. Present and correct. Quiet and Snake, some Marvel, a lot of random bits and pieces, Fight Club, Drudge Dread, Tomb Raider, 
beautiful piece. All right, so let me just uh, get back as far as I can, try and get as much of this in the shot as possible. So, oh yeah, and it's great to have the Rob Zombie stuff. Now, obviously, they're custom figures, so they don't have a box. So I really need a box behind them in order to kind of have them here. So I've got a little leaf covering up where it says Curse of Michael Myers, and it's just a black box with Halloween and a knife and uh, kind of a little silhouette of his face. That works. I doubt anyone's going to walk in here, doesn't really know their stuff, and they're going to point out, hey, hang on a minute, that's not the right box for those, dude. But until something else comes along box-wise, that'll have to do. But it's just enabling me to have the Rob Zombie versions of Michael Myers here with the slasher icons, because he really needed to be here. I can't choose between the hobo or the original 2007 version. It's too difficult to choose between them. So I'll just rock them both. Let me just pan down here, I'll go across, Leatherface is looking good, Jason's looking good, Ghostface is looking real good, I'm very glad he's here now, looks awesome, the original OG Myers, Freddy, 2018 Myers, Pinhead. 